Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Today we are going to explore how to obtain the permittivity and permeability of an electromagnetic metamaterial absorber after completing its design and simulation. Once you have finished your simulation and designing your metamaterial, you will notice that by default you're gonna find out the value of S11 and S21 in the left section of your navigation key over here. It will appear by default, but the permittivity and permeability not gonna arrive on that section or it used to be appear in the section of tables, but you're not gonna see the value of permittivity and permeability over here by default. For that, you have to go to the section called post-processing over here, and you're gonna find a subsection called result template. And here, over here, you have to select this as, and the second section as the extract permittivity and permeability from S parameter over here. After selecting that option, you're gonna mm, see the new window appear in front of your screen. And over that screen, that A option is available, which is called effective thickness of a metamaterial sample. And over here, you have to give the thickness of your electromagnetic metamaterial absorber, which in, in this case, in our design is 1.67 millimeter. And the thickness of the substrate of our design is 1.6. And the thickness of the patch and ground is 0 0.035 and 0 0.035. That's why the total thickness is 1.67 for our design and after completing um, filling the section you have to hit the button ok and now you have to evaluate the result after you hit the button evaluate it gonna evaluate the permittivity and permeability of your design over here and you have to close the button and here you can see the, the epsilon r and mu r epsilon means r means the permeability of the your design and mu means the permeability of your design r means the uh, it's actually indicating the real part of your permittivity and uh, mu r means the real part of your permeability permeability is nothing but a value which work is to measure how the material responds to a electric field in simple manner, you can say it describes how easily a, you can say, material allow electric field line to pass through it. The higher the permittivity, the more the material polarizes in response to the applied electric field on the particular electromagnetic metamaterial absorber. Higher the permittivity value, stronger the material ability to store electric energy. Yeah. And on the other case, if you talk about the permeability, you can say that it's the section which represents us or show us how a material responds to a magnetic field. It describes how easily you can say magnetic field line can pass through a material and higher the, you can say permeability, higher it can, mm, you can say manage the stronger magnetic field surrounding the electromagnetic metamaterial absorber over here. You can say that. And, and for extracting the value of permittivity and permeability, you have, to, you don't need to do much. Just you have to click the epsilon R and copy it. And you can then paste it in an Excel sheet over here. And here you can see the, value of permittivity over here and this is the column of frequency and that's the column of real part of permittivity and that's the imaginary part of permittivity basically we need most of the time we need the real part of permittivity value over here to draw the graph and by copying these two columns you can simply draw a graph for the for your designed metamaterial uh, for for getting the permittivity of it. And you need to draw the, or you can say find, uh, extract the permeability value. Then you can click the mu r and copy it from over here. And just like the permittivity, you can copy it in an Excel sheet. And here over here, that's the frequency, that's the real part of permeability and the imaginary part column of the permeability. It's also the same as permittivity. So you can um, select these two columns and by copying that section, you can you can say draw the graph in an Excel 
or you can use origin as well if you want better access to your graph or better comfort editing your graph as you want so yeah that is how you're gonna extract permittivity and permeability value from sys studio suit thank you thank you for watching this video i hope this video gonna help you a lot to understand the permittivity and permeability things of a electromagnetic metamaterial absorber and and if you think this video is helping you to understand uh, helping you understand the electromagnetic metamaterial permittivity and permeability's impact you can subscribe this channel and do like and comment and stay with us for a longer period of time and if you want to ask any question you can comment in, in this video and i will try to respond to your question as per as my capability so thank you thank you so much for watching this video